Welcome back, everyone, to the Let's Play. This is episode 27, and we are experiencing some interesting stuff. <laughs> I uh, Luckily, I have another another backup of this world where I saved it because I, I guess I forgot to... Something happened. Uh, turn my experimentals off somehow, some way. But, uh, yeah, I went to log back onto the world, and I took one step, and it said disconnected through due to, um, due to uh, a corrupt world. But now I log back onto it, and it seems like we have something interesting going on here. There's also, like, an island that's kind of just right there that wasn't there before. By the way, check out this new... Uh, music that we got going on here. I guess they updated the the music. It sounds pretty cool. It, it sounds cool. I kind of like it. It's kind of refreshing a little bit. Something a little different. But <laughs> um, this is really weird. Good thing I didn't run it right through the center of my house. But this just looks stupid. This is crazy right here. Ooh, that's kind of loud. Um, yeah, luckily I do have another another copy of this. So maybe we'll hop on that one. Okay, yep, there it is right there. See, um, experimental. But here is actually where I believe I left off from the previous episode. Uh, let's see if we can kind of just build this terrain real quick and this one should be perfectly fine I would assume um, okay yeah so this is right where we left off and we just want to make sure there's no weird floaty island thing that shouldn't be there and it looks like everything is all good to go I don't see that weird looking iceberg or that weird looking snowy biome that was right over here although I do enjoy the snowy biomes for some reason I find them very fun and but I don't normally play on them too often though they're uh yeah but I don't see that so yeah we're all good okay so I guess this is the one we'll just stick with for uh for now also can someone tell me if being in the beta is the same thing as having the experimentals turned on right that's that's the same thing I would assume if I'm playing in the beta, that practically means I have all the experimental stuffs. Otherwise, what is really the point of having the experimentals and being in betas? I wouldn't think that you would have to have both of them on. That kind of just wouldn't make sense to... I'm just going to stick all this in here for now. All that can go in there. Sticks. Sticks go into... Well, I guess not that chest. Alrighty then. Sticks, woods, apples, in here. I hate, I hate sorting items myself. It is pretty ridiculous. Alrighty, we have traveled a bit of some distance, and some stuff is actually going on over here. And for some reason, I'm also dropping a lot of frames. Maybe because I'm loading in new chunks. Um, because I have not been here. I have not been here, and there's also it looks like a savannah village. That's right over there. So it looks like there's going to be some uh, bio blending that's going to have to happen because this makes absolutely no sense. We got ice next to this desert uh, thing right here, which I am going to probably decimate at this point in time because I want to get starting a new project, kind of, sort of, and start building in the jungle just a little bit but before that i need to get some stand sandstone and i think i've been to that village before if i haven't it's uh it's whatever but i know i haven't been to that one right over there which will probably take a little visit actually come to think of it yeah this is exactly what's going on there's a little bio blending that's going on right here so uh, yeah, home dude's house kind of got taken out in the process, and there's nothing inside that chest. But I know I haven't been here before, so... Oh, was there something kind of just floating around in here? It looked like it. <coughs> Squeeze me! 
Okay, so we got a lot of resources. I'm just heading over here to the jungle because I want to scope out a spot. And I did not bring a bed. I just realized that. We'll have to make one when we get over here. But I want to scope out a spot and I want to build like a nice... I don't know if I want it to be a coastal village, which I kind of want it to be a coastal village, but at the same time, I, I don't. But it does need to be next to a river because that that only makes sense. And actually, come to think about it, about, come to think about it, there is, is it this river? I think it actually is this river. One of these rivers actually makes a nice little wind through the jungle and it pops out right on the other side so this may be the one that I'm thinking about possibly um, I don't think this one is the river but it does have a nice little background with the mountain right there or oh wait or maybe this actually is it and I'm just stuck on the ledge cuz uh, or maybe it's not maybe it's not maybe it was over there Maybe it was over there, but I kind of want it to be a little in line with our uh, with our base that we got going over going on over there. But I think I wouldn't mind scouting out a little bit more. But man, look at this mountain! Didn't this thing just a thing of beauty? All right, so I found a little spot that I want to uh, set up shop here, and I think what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of just carve a little hole in this wall right here. There's also a lot of vines. On, I think it's that side of the mountain over there. So I, I have a suspicion that maybe there could be another uh, one of those cave things. Actually, I keep forgetting what they're called. The oh, the lush caves. It could be another lush cave over there, but it's also the jungle, so it could just be, you know, the uh, the vines from the jungle because it's a jungle. But let's just go ahead and set up some chest on over in here so that we have some storage. These right here are going to be all of our building blocks. Uh, I don't know if I like the black stone, but I brought it just to try it out. We'll throw all this in here too. Okay, so we have some sandstone houses going up here. And what I also need to do is I need to get some trees growing around this area because I don't think I like the idea of just this being out in the open it looks like I cleared out an area I mean which which I did but I don't want it to look like that so actually didn't I just get some bones I did just get some bones maybe we can try to like bone mill this tree right here come on there we go god dang tree oh there we go perfect perfect and let's just get some little greenery going on right here so now um I guess I I guess maybe a tree should go here because I want something to kind of tower up right on the edge of this corner here and I don't think I can get it'd be really nice if I could get one of those large oak trees like right here I don't think I can though because that one's a little too close but we'll try so a couple things I gotta do I gotta run back I got to repair my pickaxe or at least get a different one and I also need to get some bones so I can bone mill some stuff and then what I also need to do is to get some obsidian so I can link up a portal so I don't have to continuously take this god-awful boat trip back and forth so I'm thinking maybe we can put some moss around oh, what's up my dude you are invading my spot get up out of here cuz okay um, maybe we can start by putting some moss right here and we'll see how well this blends in with the, well that was kind of uneventful, with the, with the lush green of, yeah, of, of, uh, I'm not a, not a big fan of it to be honest with you. I think I prefer... I think I prefer the green of the forest over the green in the moss. It looks like, um, I don't know. Actually, let, let's let's see if we can get like a little bit bigger area. Let's do something like that. Is that kind of okay? Maybe just around the trees a little bit. I do like some of these kind of spotted around a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Maybe just little patches of it would be okay, but as long as we don't go overboard with it, we should just be all right. What in the world is going on over here? Oh. 
So then next, I think what we can do is I can actually try to find my scaffolding. Oh, there it is. Is that we can put some of these spore blossoms and some of these taller trees. Um, some kind of, oh, we don't have any of the really big jungle trees right here in the center, do we? That's kind of a shame, but um, maybe right, can, can, can I reach that by? Okay, there we go. But I want one like really up and high in the sky. Oh, like this one. This actually might just be perfect. Okay, so a little bit of an idea I'm kind of having at the moment. If we grab, what is, what is around here? We got some some jungle wood. Um, maybe we can grab a couple, a jungle of leaves. Maybe some oak leaves that might work. Uh, I don't really know, but I think if we come over here to this little campground right here, if we just kind of put uh, some jungle logs kind of like, this uh, this might actually be okay we'll just kind of like a couple little leaves sprinkling around right here why does it show on the texture that there are like little fruit things inside the jungle leaves how come I don't see those why do I but I, I guess I always thought that there was uh, some of that in there but I guess not let's put some of these back right over here and then we'll put like another little jungle stump log thing going on right here like a little just like a little you know campfire area um a little session spot right there put some jungle leaves right back over there that should be okay right that that, that could work um i think so i think that will be all right and we just grab a little bit of coarse dirt and we can kind of sprinkle around this fire right here you know because we we dug a little some some stuff up um that actually should just about do it uh, maybe some bits like that that might be cool what actually you know what what if we did what if we did this can i put that out just like that no uh no 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 maybe not maybe not let's just put this back right like that uh, maybe we could have a little something like that, right? Like that, that might be cool. Can I turn this, can I turn this into a, di ow, different direction? That actually hurt. Uh, yeah, I like that idea just a little bit better. No way. I put that out. Right? Oh. <laughs> Did not know you could do that. Alrighty, I was digging a hole just so I could have a little mining area because I want to get some more deep slate and just to have like a little general area of where we can go out and mine. And it looks like I'm, I'm directly underneath the huge mountain for uh, just, just for reference. Um, I'm guessing this is all brand new generated terrain because I am at Y level 1. So I know for a fact this is all brand new terrain. Um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we're going to do a little, this is a really cool cave thing going on here. Uh, let me just kind of clean up this gravel here because it, it, it's kind of messy and it's hard for me to navigate and I just hate when you dump like a huge massive gravel you know patch from the ceiling and now it's just like all in your way like it's just looks it looks weird and it's just hard to navigate and it is extremely dark inside this room yeah you can actually see where the previous chunks used to be they used to actually be right there before we had an up before we did the update and we've got the whole new underground bits so like i say this right here is directly underneath the mountain and i actually want a lot of deep slate which is one of the reasons why i came down here that and i was also kind of hoping to find some uh, find some diamonds but actually all i'm finding is a bunch of mobs and some other good resources like some iron gold uh some redstone bits and things like that just to get some levels but i think what i'm going to do is just come up here and mine out all of this deep slate come back dude because i don't want you bothering me whilst i'm over here gathering up all this stuff so i think we've made some really good progress here um it looks it looks pretty good i think we're gonna we're gonna kind of work on this a little bit more i'm gonna do a couple of things in between episodes or maybe i'll build this house up who knows what we'll do um or what <laughs> what i'll do in between episodes i did get some some um 
some deep slates and I don't really know what I want to use it for I want to use it just don't really know what I want to use it for I've also envisioned a wall going around here because the end goal is to have villagers here like this is where we're going to get you know a lot of our supplies and stuff from trading with all the villagers and, and all the gear and whatnot if, if we ever need to which that was going to be kind of the goal whenever I first started this world because finding diamonds was like impossible but now um, yeah now we've we've got stacks and stacks of diamonds over there just because of the new the new ore generation that came about again speaking of which I did find 10 whilst I was down there and a bunch of deep slate and some other good bits and a lot of copper as well so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did please click like button if you want to keep me motivated to make more of these please click subscribe and that's all I have time for you guys today and I will see you in the next episode